say I make you nervous A tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster A reckoning, you wonder how I got this way You think I'm someone to be saved Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change You think I would look pretty on your arm Once you cover up my bruises and battle scars But it always ends the same This is Sims Fell and welcome back to The Sims 4 Finding Mermaid. When we left off in the previous episode, we expanded the home and along with some discussions about how we could improve it in the future, said hello to little baby Pearl who was born a couple episodes back and ran around a little bit trying to get used to coming back to the series and also getting Shimmer aligned with what she needed to do for work and then figuring out what we wanted to do with Ukapanipo over here who came over to Hotel Akala because he is on the hunt for an island witch. We started doing that in the previous episode as well. Since the island witch we befriended in Harvest Fest or the island Harvest Fest died, we have to now go ahead and find one of her daughters who we can hopefully deal with and that is before the mermaids we already know become elders and then die on us. That won't be fun. Now, while Kapanapo was over here, he decided to go for a little bit of a dive, a swim in the waters, and this beautiful dolphin just came out of nowhere and started checking us out. And I don't know if it's decided that it wants to be friends with us yet, but we are going to figure it out. So, let's hit this on play. And plus, Ukapanapo, I must say guys, he looks kind of evil, he looks kind of scary, but hey, look at that, it's so cute! Okay, seriously woman, what are you doing? We've got Rarahu. I swear, those, those females named Rarahu, they seem to be trouble, but she's doing all sorts of flippity flip flip things <laughs> by this dive spot that I don't appreciate. But hey, I guess he's done playing? He's free diving a little bit. I just wanted him to play around a little bit so he can get his hydration up. But actually, I wanted him to um, quickly just pass by the Admiral's wreckage and see if we can find one of the precious island witches which i don't see now one of the rules we've kind of concocted is that part of the elusive nature means that we cannot actually go to the admiral's wreckage because island witches are supposed to move around from place to place so we're not supposed to know where exactly their hideout is uh, but to have them show up in the actual world i need to place them down in one of the lots so i chose admiral's wreckage but I'm hoping we're going to come across one of them without having to... Nope, that's not it. They wear very distinctive clothes, kind of like gypsy clothes, so we should be able to tell them apart really easily. Their last names are Moya as well. But we haven't found anyone, which sucks. It was by a very slim margin and out of nowhere that we even came across Gloria, who was the mother of the Island Witches and the head of the Island Witches. But we kind of have to rely on just coming across whoever we come across now. I don't see anyone. If we don't, we're just gonna head on back home and figure something else out. Maybe we'll speak to a few people here and then see what's going on. Yeah, I don't see them. Hmm. Well. Oh, why are you swimming like that? Mm -mm -mm. You don't need to do that. You are a mermaid. You're supposed to be using your tail, please. Use your tail. Um, let's see, he could just sleep over here. I don't think I'm gonna make him do that, if possible. You know what, let's, can we collect shells? Hmm. You know what? What is a treasure tool? I don't think we've ever used that. We didn't have money for this. We're gonna die for treasure. I don't know what counts as treasure, but we haven't even tried this. I'm really excited to see what sort of treasure we might come across. Did he grab anything? Go dive for treasure. Unless he can't because he's a mermaid. If that's the case, that is gonna suck. But anyways guys, a while ago Panipo has gone uh, into the depths to search for some treasure, um, I was gonna say that currently we only have the Hotel Akala, which is a foreign spot. Where is this in that direction? I think it is. Yeah, 
We only have Hotel Akala, which is kind of like the only new lot, the only new destination. Is there a fire in the distance? I don't know. Something's going on. But it's the only new place that we have, the only established lot, the only development we've had on the islands since we have shown up. I was thinking that obviously since tourism has probably increased a whole heap, we've had much more interest uh, of investors. I can't remember the name of the, um, what should we call it, the corporation that actually built Hotel Akala, but I'm sure they and a few other investors will be interested in expanding the island and its operations further. So we might actually start seeing new lots pop up, maybe some even replacing the old lots that we have in Solani. So maybe one of the companies or investors will purchase the bar that we have, the beaches and whatever else, and they might replace it with another establishment that they feel makes more money for them. I don't know, we might start seeing these cool places and it's going to be fun to have a change of scenery from time to time. It's realistic because things change all the time. And also with our Sims, years are going by with them. I mean. Shima has lived here since she was a young adult and she's already an adult, she's had a child, so obviously things are supposed to change. In an island, it's going to change a lot slower than if you're in a bigger country, but still feel as though things are going to change. So anyway, I'm thinking, um, I'm going to take Ukapanipo back home and who knows, we might even see a change when we rock up this. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, we are back with the family at the Coveside residence and Shima has just returned from work. She's having a little bit of a swim out in the ocean, getting a hydration up. And I did mention that we might be seeing some changes to the neighborhood. Now, the one change that everyone's noticed on this island, which I don't even remember what this island is called, but one difference everyone has noticed is that the beach is no longer the beach. I mean, of course, it's still got sand and it's still got a coastline, but everything that was in the beach has disappeared. Well, it's not like it's been stolen. Everyone knows what's been going on. Someone's bought this piece of land. They're not entirely sure who, but someone's bought this piece of land and said that they want to develop it or at least redesign it. We don't know if it's going to be another beach. We don't know if it's going to be some other type of venue. Not entirely sure. And until further plans are released or until they start construction, I don't know how the residents are going to feel about this. Shima, for the most part, is happier, I think, at least for now, because that means less stress on the environment. They've cleaned up the beach pretty good. They haven't left any debris or anything around. Um, and so there'll probably be less people actually going there because there's nothing to do. So I think she's actually um, pretty happy with how things are going on. Only time will tell whether or not it's the same. I think it's Star Fruit Corporation. I don't remember. But we'll just have to see whether it's the same corporation that opened up a hotel. It probably won't be the best for wildlife if we have an entire flippin' resort over here. But I don't think we'd be able to fit something like that. I don't know. It's gonna have to, we're going to have to wait and see. It's going to depend. It's going to depend. But obviously we have some changes coming and at some point, whatever that is, might rock up. And it's almost Pearl's birthday, which is quite exciting. Pearl's napping, of course. I can't wait till she's a toddler. She's going to be a terror, I think, because toddlers just in general are terrors to me. And I haven't played with one in a long time. But we should be able to manage, especially with um, Ukapanipo staying at home. Anyways, Shima, my darling, do you have anything you need to do? Survey Ocean Wildlife. Hmm, can we do that from here? I'm sure we can do that from the uh, check trap. Nope, I'm, I'm sure we can. Ooh, I didn't realize we had this. You can buy bait? What? I did not know you. Whoa, holy cow. I did not know you can buy bait. What? These are so cool. Look at the variety of fish. A half of these new? I know they introduced a whole bunch of tropical fish, but whoa, that is amazing. I love it. They look great. But I don't think I'd need to buy fish unless I was keeping a pet, and I don't think I'm keeping a pet. But let's go survey the wildlife. Let's go survey some wildlife, shall we? 
She is tired, but I do think she can make the trip to survey some wildlife. Ukapanipo is going to stay back. And I haven't popped anything in for them to work towards this episode. Um, let's see, he wants to become confident. I'll pop that in. Doesn't seem too difficult. And she wants to be mean to Aleki. I don't know if we're going to come across him. So I'll just get her to scare a bird flock wherever she sees one. Okay, Okapanipo, you want to become confident. Let's, um, yeah, psych self up. That's probably going to make him feel a lot better about himself. I don't, I mean, I mean, yeah, he can give himself a little bit of a pep talk, right? Psych himself up. He deserves it. Of course he does. He is a wonderful patriarch. He deserves it. Doesn't have a whole lot of people in his pod, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Okay, how are you going, my darling? Going good? Going good? Oh, is, wait, hold on a sec. Is that a lecky? Oh, that's a lecky. Never mind. I want to be mean to him because she wants to be mean to him. Straight after we're done with that, hopefully he's going to stay around because we want to dismiss his goodness. Of course. Look at him! Yet another island fairy. We've got all sorts of beings going around this place. We've got island fairies, we've got island witches, mermaids. It's pretty fun how the culture is developing itself. But um, another thing, I do feel like maybe we should start focusing on having a few more mermaids in our pod. Uh, I do believe Shimmer has the little conch shell that she can use to blow to check if anyone in the area are mermaids. We might try that on because I can see a few people that are relatively new. So we might just go in and do that. Are you almost done? Yep, she is done. Nice. So I think she's done whatever she needs to do for work. What? No. Where do you survey the ocean wildlife? I thought I surveyed the ocean wildlife pretty good. Apparently I didn't. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Is it over here? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I'll work towards that at some stage. <gasps> oh no, I was gonna say, fish! We should feed a fish! But no, that's not how it works. That is not how it works. Um, I'm pretty sure normal food gets a hunger up pretty good. At least I hope so. I don't think she likes eating fish. Unless... Have I fed her fish ever since she became a mermaid? I don't know. I know in The Sims 3, fish actually gets your hunger up more than normal food does. Huh. Okay guys, we're gonna do an experiment. What's the worst that can happen? Yes, she's a child of the ocean, but she also... She's also a mermaid, and I don't know if I fed her a fish ever since she became a mermaid. So we're gonna get it. We're gonna get some bait. We're gonna try and feed her some fish, like a raw fish, and see if um, she gets any negative moodlets from that. So let's go buy bait. I'm just gonna get the cheapest one. Just gonna get. I want the cheapest one. We're gonna get a guppy. She's gonna eat a guppy. This might sound very terrifying, guys. She's gonna eat the guppy, and we're gonna see if. Um, I don't see you. You, you can't eat raw fish, so I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, you can't eat raw fish, so I don't think anything of that sort is happening. My bad. Okay, she's hungry, but we only have fish nearby. Why don't we go and... Actually, she could always survey the wildlife here. It's like really close to her backyard, essentially. So I think we'll send her back home. She'll just grab some leftovers from the... Oh, jeez, clean out some spoiled leftovers. Please clean that out. He's feeling great. I'm sure he is. Get up. You don't need to be sleeping right now. You honestly don't. You don't. Why, why don't you go play with your child or something? Go go bounce, little baby Pearl. Let's um, talk to her. Rock her a little bit. Make a silly face. Cuddle. Socialize with your child. This is like the best... Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Your child needs to be taken care of, not socialized with. Bottle feed her. I think she is hungry. So let's go bottle feed the baby. And the baby should be aging up, I think, tomorrow. So we only have one more day with this little child, this little squealing piglet, before she's going to be a toddler. <laughs> and then she's going to be a squealing piglet on legs. How exciting. Okay, she seems to be doing a little bit better. Let's bounce her around a little bit. Okay, you're back. You're feeling very, very tired, my love. Let's go eat some food. Is Yeah, we have leftovers. You've got, like, uh, chicken and cake and stuff. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Was this Okapanipo? 
Oh my lord, that is... What is up with that? That's terrible. Naughty. You left just stuff lying around everywhere. What was that all about? Okay, well, he he's a glutton. He's gonna go eat some more. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, that's fine. He enjoys food. As long as he's not harming himself by overeating and possibly rupturing his stomach, then I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Shouldn't meanwhile, how is she going? You're going good. Yep, let's go eat some stuff. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? That looks nice. They're just having a nice dinner together. Also, I'm not entirely sure what we can add. Whenever we, like, to the upper levels, we haven't had need of anything just yet. I do know that um, when we find, like, cool little shells or we find, like, these little hearts of Solani and stuff, we always pop them around the place, the eyes of Solani. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but we found a couple of these jewelries and we popped them all around the place. Which is why I have these shelves in case we have more of those things, but haven't come across anything yet. So there we go. Haven't come across anything too spicy just yet. Okay, honey, I think you have enough energy to be able to go survey some wildlife. If we're able to do this now, then we can potentially work on your logic skill at some other time. Won't that be exciting? Look at them, chatting on the dinner table. I think maybe they're discussing what could be popping up where the beach was cleared up. Who knows? I think um, Okapanipo is certainly excited for the prospect. What are his traits? He is self-assured glutton and child of the islands. I think, yeah, he loves the like preserving the islands, but he also wants to see the islands develop, perhaps. And so maybe he's just talking about how this could be a very beneficial thing. Yeah, Shima also, Shima meanwhile, I mean she is evil. Shima is evil, but she's very attached to the islands. She's evil to other beings, not the islands themselves. So all the creatures of the islands for that matter. I want to get Okapanipo to clean up so that he can help his lovely wife. Well, she, she's very exhausted, but I think she should be able to just dive down and be able to survey the ocean wildlife before heading off to bed. She's very exhausted. I hope she doesn't drown. Luckily, she's a mermaid. I don't think mermaids can drown in the water. That would just be embarrassing. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> That'd be too embarrassing. Jeez. But as soon as she's feeling better, oh, the baby needs to be taken care of. Baby. The baby uh, dirty gets diaper. Let's change that and bottle feed it. But as soon as we get a chance to, I do want to take Shimmer and actually, or even Okapanipo for that matter, and start seeing if we can find more mermaids to bring into our little. Um... Oh, she's. I ha I have not seen a survey the wildlife in mermaid mode. I think that looks so cool. Look at that. Look at. that. That, that looks so cool. She's serving the wildlife in mermaid mode. Whoa. Oh, this looks so pretty at night. I love it. But yeah, I was gonna say, we should start getting them to actually invite more mermaids into their pod. And the only way they can do that is that they go and find more mermaids. Which they know very few. I think between both of them, they know three mermaids. Not the best exactly. Not the best. We need to be more proactive about... Um, acting around these things, or acting on these things. Okay, Ukapanipo has dealt with the child. He is off to bed. He is very, very tired. Ah, okay, who do we have walking around? A few people, nothing of immediate interest. Is Does he have the, um... Oh, he found the fingers of Solani. Okay, was this one of the treasures he found? I don't know. Oh, I don't know if... It was one of the treasures that he found. We're gonna pop that up there. Whoa, this is pretty cool. These are all sorts of like jewelry and stuff. Wow, that is fascinating. He might have found that when he went um, underground for treasures. That would make sense. He does have an ordinary conch shell though, and so, no she doesn't. Okay, so Shimon does not have an ordinary conch shell. I might have to go send her looking for one at some later stage. Is she sleeping on the canoe? Oh, you can head off to bed. Go to sleep. I'll send her back inside. She's too tired. This is me. I shouldn't be getting her 
to go around everywhere. She could even sleep as a mermaid. She could very well do that. But I think I'll like send her on back inside. She'll probably be cozier sleeping where her little baby is and her husband is. So there we go. I'll send her back, back inside. She can relax. No doubt she's had a tough day back at work. I don't think she left work when she was pregnant. Hmm. But certainly for a couple of days she's been staying home. I think it was the day after the child was born. So it was a little bit tense, but that's okay. She um, has returned back to work. I think she's getting used to not being pregnant anymore. Which is fine. It's completely natural. But anyways, guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.